SSL and TLS. What is it? SSL is secure socket layers and TLS is transport layer security. So, well, both are actually exactly same, just a minor difference. SSL being the older one and the TLS being the recent one. So, TLS has some modifications on SSL. It has some more advanced feature added into it. But all in all, the basic of both the uh, protocol is basically same. So, let's see what is SSL or TLS and where it is used actually. So whenever we interact with any uh, server, any uh, website, let's say google.com, youtube.com or facebook.com, twitter.com, we name it anything. You must have seen all of the URLs and address bars that there is a green icon, locked icon, right? And that's actually indicates that the uh, website you are interacting with is a secured website. And those are secured using SSL. Whenever we go to any uh, URL via our browser, so what browser do is browser actually fires up that request to that particular web server and that request will be an HTTPS connection. So if that web server supports HTTPS, it will follow the procedure to actually validate whether that application is secure or not, which is SSL handshake. And if the server is not supporting SSL, it is not secured with SSL, then it will throw an error the browser will throw an error saying the communication with this particular server is not secure if you want to proceed it will be on your own risk okay so let's understand how actually ssl handshake happens and this is basically um, like done in a few seconds before actually the user gets to know it and it is not at all uh, I mean visible so let's see what happens so we have our browser and we have our web server let's say we are using Google Chrome and we are using accessing YouTube.com, let's say, for example. So, whatever the first step of the SSL handshake is, whenever we uh, type in the URL of the website we want to go into, Google Chrome or the browser fires up that uh, uh, request and initiates a secure connection with that particular server. And if the server supports SSL connection, it will return back uh, the browser its public certificate and the public key. Okay. Now, as we all know, the latest in the modern browsers actually stores its own private uh, root CA. So whatever uh, root authorities and CA authorities are available right now, the most popular ones are actually available with the browser uh, itself. So whenever the server sends its uh, public certificate and public key, browser go into their trust store and actually checks whether this provided certificate is a valid one or not. So certificate has many uh, uh, constituents like it has common name, it has expiry date, it has uh, public key identifier, it has uh, issued by and all of those details, right? So Google Chrome goes into trust store, checks with that approved certificate authority and verifies whether the certificate provided was actually valid one or not. So once it validates that the certificate provided was a valid one, it will use this particular public key to actually create a session key a private session key which will be shared between the browser and the server and not to any other person in between so once a browser generates that symmetric session key the private session key and sends it back to the server now its server's job is to uh, basically send all the data hence forward encrypted with this particular session key so in the next step what server will do it will uh, return back the response or by encrypting basically the data uh, with this symmetric private key which has been sent by the Google Chrome in the previous step. Now, when Google Chrome or the browser receives this particular uh, data and then encrypted data, now its job is to decrypt the data and show it in a presentable manner to the user. So what it will do, it will decrypt using the same uh, session key which it just uh, forwarded to the server and it will decrypt all the information, it will show it in a HTML presentable uh, UI. So this is how the connection between or the SSL handshake between the server and the browser or the client happens. Let's see how a certificate looks like. So I'll go to Google Chrome and let me open Spring Security website. Okay. As soon as I open it, I can see that a lock symbol is present here which says view site information. If I click on it, I'll be able to see that connection is secure and I'll be able to actually view the certificate which was actually shared by this Spring website to the browser or the Google Chrome. If I click on it, it says the certificate provider is DigiCert Global Root CA. Okay, so this is the root certificate authority which has actually signed this certificate for Spring authority or for the Spring uh, uh, company and the common name for this particular certificate is Spring.io. Okay, then it says issued by the certificate authority name, then expires, it is expiring in 2021, let's say, 
so all of these details are present in a certificate and it says uh, the certificate is valid so this particular thing has come after the ssl handshake happened so after the ssl handshake happened the outcome was the certificate is valid the browser sent a private token or private session token to the spring server and then spring decrypts all the data and send it back to the browser the browser's job was to decrypt all the data and so in this present uh, uh, ui which we are seeing right now so this is how ssl handshake works basically you know if you see uh, your backing system is online there are various website you actually visit uh, on a daily basis like facebook.com twitter.com okay then uh, your google.com so all of these uh, websites is actually holding your personal information they need they need your personal information to you know, be authenticated and all those stuff right so there is a need to have uh, the connection between you and those websites to be secured right and this is where ssl and tls fits in that's the wrap up and uh, if you are still here do like and subscribe the channel and provide your valuable comment